Hello, amazing people watching YouTube. Welcome again. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to arrange your folders on your Mac on a different places with a single command. Let me show you. I have my LS here, ARF, which is arrange folders. And when I hit enter, I got a few folders of my own that I chose arranged in different places in my screen. Now, as you saw, if you if you notice, I have here a little notification saying arranging folders for a monitor. So yeah, if I'm on my laptop, it will arrange the folders accordingly on my laptop too. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm going to show you how to create an Apple shortcut that can open folders and sit their bounds in different places based on shell and Apple script commands. But before we do so, we need to know how to get the bounds of a specific application in order to set it to uh, the bounds that we want. So for example, uh, let me just grab some finder window right here. So this is a normal finder window. And now let's say, for example, this is the bound that we want. We want the app to be right here. So in order to tell the Apple script, set the bounds of this application uh, to those points, we need to know what are those points are. So we need to use Apple shortcuts in order to do so. And now let me just launch uh, this is Apple shortcut. I haven't done anything, only launched Apple shortcut and started a new shortcut. You can do it right here or command in or from the app itself. And we need to use an Apple script. This is a free Apple shortcut. Uh, we can call it arrange. You can call it wherever you want. And now let's just take an Apple script, simply drag it, put it right here. Now, as I mentioned, we need to get the bound of the application first of all. So delete this code, pass this code. I will drop this in the description, but this is actually a really simple code. It's an Apple script, which says tell application finder, and you can change this wherever app you want, terminal, for example, or simply finder, because in our case, we are using finder to get the bounds of the front window. Now, if I hit play, I will get, let's just click here so I can see them all. I will get the bounds of this application. Notice if I put it in another place, I will get a different values. So instead of 42 something, I got 54 something. So let's test this theory. Let's put this here and now get the bounds of the application. All right, so it's 2548. Um, let me try to, well, we need to write it somewhere. Let's write it here right now. So it's 25 and then 48 and then 470 and then 510. I'm gonna copy them. And a matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave him here because right now we will need to change this from get bounds to set bounds. Again, I will drop this in the description, but this is the code. It's simply till the application finder, but right now to set the bounds of the front finder window, though those, but we don't want those, we want those, which are those points. Now, of course, nothing will happen right now because I'm setting the bound of the app to an already existed um, bound. So I will change this and I will change its shape as well. And right now, Let's just um, do this and let's hit the start. And if I'm right, it will arrange this from here to the point that we took earlier. So let's hit the start button and voila, we got our own bounce sitter or whatever you want to call it. So basically that's what you would want to do. You want to place uh, the windows of the apps that you want manually. And then let's say for example, um, Let's say, for example, you want to do this for the terminal. So you need to place them manually here, for example, and do this, for example, and then do that. And I will actually suggest you to do this one by one. So for example, you get the bands of those app. I'm gonna do it again, just in case. Sorry if I'm repetitive, you can skip this part, but I want to make sure that you get this. So let's do terminal. And again, this is sit bounds. We want the get bounds. So get bounds, change from finder to terminal, and now hit play. And those are the bounds of uh, this window right here. So you get the point, and then you want to do another window. Let's say, for example, you want this window, all right? Of course, you will save those values in another place. And right now, you want uh, a window like that, for example. So you need to exit this window. And now you want to get the values again, and it gave you another values, which are those values. So that's how to get the bounds of a specific application. And that's the plan that you need to do. But first of all, as I mentioned earlier, I have this simple uh, if statement, 
so we'll, we'll start by checking if we are on a Mac or connected to a monitor so we can set the bounds accordingly. We'll use a simple if statement to do this. And in order to do a if statement, you can simply search for an if statement right here. And you can put an if statement and you can say, for example, if um, device details and we can choose from here screen width and now the condition we can choose is greater than and for example 1900 our script will be here if we are on a monitor and the other script if we are not on a monitor will be under otherwise and in order to open a specific folder i use the shell script so for example i can start by using shell script and i can do cd for example and i can take the path of the uh downloads for example and it will uh simply uh actually i don't need this so and then i can just simply do open and open this current directory uh let's delete this script and this is nothing and let's see if i do this it will open the downloads folder and right now if i want to see the bounds of this downloads folder that get opened by this simple shell script i can simply do the sit bounds again but for the finder so if we do an apple script here and we need to run apple script with shell script result so it will know okay now i open the download and i need to do something here with it and what it need to do need to tell this application finder to set the bounds of the finder to those values for example so now it will open it and put it right here now again let's say for example i want it to be um like that and here first of all i need to get the bounds of the application so here we are getting the bounds and those are the bounds of the application let's just write them somewhere i'm gonna write them here and now we can use the sit bounds so let's use the sit bounds let's put those values let's mix this up and exit and to make it more interesting let's add the uh, shell script and do the same thing that we done well we need to do this here because this is on a mac and we are on a monitor right now we are greater than 1900 so this should be here now let's do cd downloads and and open dot which means current directory so it will open the downloads like previously and now it will set the bounds like what we did right here so let's test this fantastic so that's how you do it so as you can see this is my complete script let me uh, get rid of this so if screen width is greater than 1900 it will give me some notification arranging folders for monitors it will open the downloads set the bounds to something that i want and then another shell script open the directory of my clients set the bounds of this directory to something that i want and open another directory set the bounds of this directory as well notice that we got this line connected from one to one you need this in order to have this all you need to do is just click here run with a shell script result because you want to make them connected one to another same thing input apple script result run apple script with shell script result and so on and so on and so on um as you can see i got the otherwise for the if statement it show notification arranging folders for mac and of course it will give me a smaller bound so it can fit my screen and if i hit the play button it will arrange those folders accordingly where i have my clients right here i have my learning right here and i have my downloads folder for a quick access or anything you can of course set your airdrop as a folder so you can drag and drop to airdrop or to some other uh, directories um so lastly you can use raycast to have uh an alias for this so i have here uh arf you can have your shortcut app you can have here an alias for this shortcut or you can even have a hotkey so i can have a hotkey let's say for example option and this and now if i do this hotkey so i won't do this again i will only do this hotkey and voila i got the arranging folders the folder that i want with notification uh that's everything for now i really guys try to make it as simple as possible i hope that was helpful for some of y'all and um i hope you have a great day thanks for watching